Hey YouTube, this is Kevin Bolin of Bolin Small Engine and uh, this will be part 3 of the 6.5, I'm sorry, 6.75 uh, horsepower Briggs engine. Um, I've just cleaned the carburetor up, um, pulled it out of the uh, cleaner and scrubbed it off. Uh, there's no doubt from what I've seen in the pan and the pail that there's going to be a material inside this carburetor's float bowl that's going to look similar to gritty um, sand or I'm sure you've probably seen old baby diapers that have been busted apart uh, it's probably going to look like that I don't know so this will be a surprise to me as well I'm pretty sure what I'm, I'm about to, to find out okay let's have a look at this All this is is the effect of the ethanol on the carburetors. It just eats them up terribly anymore. Okay, this is a ceiling washer. A lot of people have trouble identifying what this part is. It's called a ceiling washer. It's used for the bottom of the float bowl to seal this jet. And sure enough, I'm right. I kind of expected that. As you can see, that's the stuff that you'll run into. And as I said before, it'll look like a either sand or, or baby diaper had been exploded in there. This one actually looks more like sand, so you can see that this carburetor was in pretty rough shape. Um, I'm pretty confident I can salvage it, but I gotta admit that this is this is really getting there, okay? In truth, um, you're probably better off if you have one in this shape to just buy a new carburetor. But because I'm committed to this project, I'm going to go ahead, uh, loosen up this hinge pin, pull it from uh, the tabs here, and pull the float off, inlet needle, and show you the seat. So when I restart this video, we'll be back, as I said, with the the float off, the hinge pin, and the inlet needle, and I'll be using a Tecumseh um, seat extractor uh, tool. I'll show you what that is. It's really handy. Uh, Briggs doesn't have one, which I'm kind of shocked about, but uh, the Tecumseh works great on it uh, with no problems. I'm going to go ahead and end this part of the video so I can get the tools.